Good afternoon, children. Welcome to KKC Online this week. I'm Auntie Hui Ling. Remember me? I'm sure all of you miss me. I miss all of you very much. Hmm, what do we have in store for KKC this week? Hmm, let us see. I'm very excited, children. Are you? Hi, children. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Let's sing our first song. With Christ in the vessel, we can smile at the storm.
Father, we thank you, Lord, for the fruit of the spirit of gentleness that we are learning today. May we grow to be more and more gentle each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hi, children. In the past week or months, we have learned about fruit of the spirit. What have we learned, children? Let us go through the fruit of the Spirit one by one and see whether you remember them, children. I'm sure you do. The first, of the, the first fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Very good, children. You are getting there. Patience, kindness. Ah, some of you even say goodness before. Auntie Huiling revealed it. Goodness. And what was it after goodness? Starting with F, children. Do you remember? Yes, children, it's faithfulness. Very good. So, the eighth fruit of the Spirit. Hmm, what, what is it? I wonder. Let's see. The fruit, eighth fruit of the Spirit is... Yes, gentleness. Wow, some of you are so smart and clever. You have even said the word gentleness before Auntie Huiling uh, revealed it to you. Gentleness. Correct, children. What is it about gentleness? We wonder. What is it about gentleness, we wonder? Okay, let's look at the picture. Ah, what is the first photo say that the picture said that? Be gentle with yourself. I will. I will be so gentle with myself. I think we should do that to ourselves too. We must have uh, tell ourselves that we must instill in us gentleness. Ah, like the man. Look at the man. He's not being gentle with the cat. But the girl is being gentle with a kitty. That's what we should do, children. The greatest strength is gentleness. Let us learn more about gentleness. Before that, I'll pass the time to Ian Lee to do the opening prayer. Let us pray, children. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing me to another week of KKC online and keeping my family and I safe in these challenging times of COVID-19. Thank you, Father, for being with me and always showing me that you are close to me. I just have to call on you through prayer and you will hear me. I pray that my friends in KKC will learn more about you this week as I have and I continue to trust and obey you, Jesus, in such times. In Jesus' name, I pray and ask. Amen. Today, our Bible story is about Jesus and the leper. Leper? What is a leper? Who is a leper? A leper is someone who has a disease called leprosy. He is seriously sick, just like the people with COVID-19 now. A leper has a lot of open sores on his skin. Do you know children, a leper may lose a nose, some fingers, and even some toes. People run away from a leper, for they are frightened they may catch the disease. A leper carries a bell to warn the people that he is coming. Children, before Auntie Yi shows you the video on today's Bible story, I want you to pay attention to see how the people in the story react. How do they behave? Let us see how Jesus behaved and also how the crowd or the people around Jesus behave. And also, I want you to imagine yourself in the story together with Jesus. How would you react? With a growing number of disciples, Jesus moves from town to town teaching about God's kingdom and working miracles. I'm clean. I'm clean. I'm clean. 
Jesus is a savior to some. But a potential threat to Rome. Children, though the video is very short, but we can draw precious lessons from this video. Let us compare how Jesus and the crowd reacted in this story. Children, think. Will you be like Jesus or will you be like the crowd? The crowd turned away from the leper. But Jesus was calm. He went forward towards the leper. The crowd covered their faces. But Jesus touched and healed the leper. The crowd did not show any gentleness or kindness in their actions towards the leper. However, Jesus showed respect to the leper as a person. Jesus did not look down on the leper because the leper is sick or dirty. Jesus cared for him because he has a need. The leper needs healing from his leprosy. So children, Jesus is our great example for gentleness, a model for us to follow. So children, what have we learned today? First, remember, every person deserves our kindness and gentleness. God made them too. We also choose to give respect to others. We want to obey God. Remember, when we give respect, we will also receive respect. Children, if you find it difficult to show respect, I think at least we can smile and walk quietly away. Well, children, we do not need to do a miracle like Jesus in order to show gentleness. Do you know, young as you are, every day you can show simple acts of gentleness by thinking good of others, by treating others kindly, but do not shout or correct in public. Let us not look down on others. When they are poor, or when they are not dressed properly, or even when they are disabled. The beggars, the poor, the disabled people, or the orang chacha, are also precious in the eyes of God. So children, in closing, all our KKC teachers will be very blessed if you all become little heroes for Jesus. Remember, you have the Holy Spirit in you. The Holy Spirit can help you do small acts of gentleness and kindness to all the people around you, starting with your family and also your neighbors. God can, so you children also can. So bye-bye children. God bless you and your family. Auntie Yi will see you next Sunday. These words are all jumbled up. Try to arrange them in order. Bingo! You have successfully arranged the memory verse in order. A gentle answer turns anger away. But... Mean words stir up anger. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 A gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 Gentleness can be shown not only in our actions, but also in words. There is power in our words. The Bible says, A gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 
a gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 1 Hello children, it's good to see you all again. Welcome back to another KPC object lesson. Today we learn about another fruit of the spirit which is gentleness. Yes, gentleness is kindness and love and humility in the things that you say or do. For example, do you want, do you want someone to say kind and gentle words to you? Or do you prefer harsh words? I am sure we prefer a kind and gentle word that is said to us. Let us have a look at the two eggs here. One egg will represent someone who doesn't have gentleness. While another egg here represents someone like you who has gentleness, the fruit of the spirit. So gentleness is reflected or is shown here as a bubble wrap. We will wrap, wrap this egg in a bubble wrap. And this is the gentleness. Let us see what it can do. So this is you with lots of gentleness inside of you. The things you do and say are kind. You love your friends and you do not speak harshly to them. So this is you with gentleness. And this is another child without gentleness. Let us see what happens. Oh, look, the child which has no gentleness broke. Yucks, do you like that? No. But let us look at this child, which is yourself, which has gentleness. Do you think it's broken? With gentleness, the egg doesn't break because you have the fruit of the spirit, gentleness. So children, it is important to be gentle and kind in what you say and do because it reflects that you have Jesus in you. So I hope you will learn this object lesson and teach it to your friends too. Hello children, good afternoon again, I'm Auntie Hui Ling. Today's object lesson is about gentleness. Let's see what Auntie Wei Ling has prepared for you. Uh, before this, you will get some balloons ready with some toothpicks. Uh, I'm sure you will have toothpicks at home, right? Get your daddy mummy to help you prepare the things. Uh, blow them up. I've blown these two balloons up. Okay, we're going to do object lesson about gentleness. Let's see what happened. What happened, children? If I am going to put this toothpick into the balloon, Ha, oh, children, I'm sure you know what will happen, right? Let's count to three, yeah? and I'm going to do it. Yeah? One, close your ears, and let's see. One, two, three. Woo! Say, if we use force, everything will land up in a mess. You see what happened? Ah, this is what I've done before this. The whole balloon will burst. Okay, let's see what we can do with gentleness. We're going to poke it gently into the balloon. Gently, uh, children. You know what's gently? Meaning, uh, we're going to do things gently so with gentleness, we can achieve more. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh. Until then, it's going to do it gently. Uh, and children at home is going to count. Uh. Uh, gently means you need to have what? Children. Patience, yes, to do things gently, you need to have patience. Huh? I'm going to so that it will take some time and then that the balloon will not, what children, very good children, will not burst and the toothpick will be in the balloon without bursting it. Yes, that's what Auntie Hune is trying to so. achieve. Huh? I'm going to turn it slowly into the balloon. Eh? There you are, children! Yeah! Success! Ah, children, you see? Ah, 
I see something coming out already, yeah? Yeah, we are able to put the toothpick into the balloon and it's not bursting. There, young children. How do you like that? Okay, that's all. So children, you have to be gentle when you do things because gentleness, we can achieve more. Thank you children. See you next week on KKC Online. Enjoy your object lesson at home. Bye. Hi children. Yeah, we have come to the end of our KKC online this week. What have we studied, children? We are to be reminded that our God is our tender Father, the loving shepherd caring for his flock. We are his children. Gentleness comes from God, children. It carries with its divine power. Gentleness has its source in God. As we are more gentle, we feel closer to God and can increasingly express his loving power. We love God. And God loves us. Truly, we want to follow Him and His gentleness. Today, we want to resolve to being gentle and we want to use Christ as our example and let our, the Holy Spirit lead us in His gentle ways. Every morning, children, before anything else, I want to challenge all of you, children, to ask God for gentleness through the Holy Spirit. Let us uh, do a closing prayer, children. Before we end, dear Heavenly Father, we pray. Thank you for being our Abba Father in heaven, whom we can love and learn from you. Father, you hold our heart. By the gentleness of your spirit, transform us to be more like you, to have the gentleness image like you. Change us and guide us to be more of you each day. We love you, Father. Guide the children to learn and open up their hearts to change to be gentle and but strong in spirit. Lead us in your gentle ways. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. See you next week, children. Bye. That's all for now. See you next